okay so today we'll make one CSS uh, button with the help of after and before you know what is before and after okay yeah. so we have ready with our one folder with HTML file and CSS file let's start okay Okay. We have to create one button class BTF. Okay. Okay. Button. And next, what I have to do is to add uh, CSS. Okay. okay. Start CSS. Okay. okay. Now we have to go to our CSS. Okay. Having first start and. Transition going to a star means uh, for everything, right? For every element, for every attribute, for every classes, and even for every uh, elements. Okay? okay, now the button. Okay, this is our button that we defined over here, right? Okay, okay. first uh, let me check. Hmm. Here is our button. Okay, now what I will do is I will. Uh, them all in together so we can have a look okay okay here is our CSS button uh, in paste with 300 pixel okay and height leave height okay no, no, no. padding padding we can give up 10 pixel from both of the side and zero from the left and right right Okay, now reload it. It is not working. Something happened because of this style. Just okay. Now it should work. Okay. So now let's position it to be the center. Okay. So for that I can position it as absolute, absolute. Okay. and top 50% okay and left 50% you know what is this so while I'm saving it you can see that button came to the okay, top and left okay yeah. if you point this see this point this mm -hmm. point is center okay it's exactly in center but the button is not in the center okay Okay, to make it what we can do is to transform this okay transform transition transform transform okay what the fuck transform okay and translate we will again translate translate means what we'll translate minus 50 percent okay minus 50 percent so you can see that button came minus 50 percent to the left left okay and even it's not in the center okay minus 50 percent must goes upside right mm. to be in exactly in the center okay now checks it's now it is in center okay okay so it is the next i will give some more padding now to make button more clear and I don't want any border. I want just um, background color. Let's pick some colors. Okay. So, for example, let's let go with go with this color. Okay. I'll copy here. Okay. And first, I will say like primary color, okay? okay. In a comment so that we can take it in our use later, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And again, this is the secondary color.
Okay. Now, so the background I want is this one. Um, sorry, the background I want is this one. Okay. Mm. Let's check it. See, this is the background. Yeah. Again, what we need to give is our color white font color uh, color means it's font color only okay. whenever you will uh, define the color mm. that means it's font color okay? okay and font size size less than five pixel okay mm. now our button is ready yeah. okay mm. next what to do is to work with our um you know what uh, before right so see first I will tell you mm. button and it is B4. Okay. These are comes under pseudo classes. Okay. okay. B4. Mm. And you have to add content. You must, otherwise it won't work like that. Okay. So whenever I'm checking, you can see that uh, that text will be added just before of the button. Button. That is Must've added, okay? Okay. So this is called B4. Okay. If but when we are uh, working with after mm. So what do you think where it should added? Comes right to that. Yeah, that's right to the mm. button. And why, what is the use of this? I will tell you. Mm. Okay, so that means we have created mm. one more element. Mm. Okay, before of this element. Okay. But it's 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 hidden right right now. Okay. Mm. So let's say I'll give width, okay, and the width of 10 pixel for now. Background, background is this, color. yeah, okay. for now. I'm saving and reloading, I'm not getting this right, okay. So now, what I need to do is to give left from zero. Let's check. It is not available, right? But whenever I I will add in something in this D, for example, I have added. You can okay. see it is there, right? Okay, yeah. So we uh, we have to give width uh, height also, okay? For example, uh, at the place of height, we can specify the height of one. 150 pixel right mm. but right mm. you have to give also position absolutely and top also zero let's see if it is working yes it is working okay okay okay, okay. so it's hundred percent mm. so here you can see this is the um our before Okay. So what we want is we don't want any width, right? No, no width. When we want this width, when we go for the B T N after and O whenever we okay. uh, then the B4 must be width of hundred percent. Okay. Can we check now? Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. it's it's coming yeah. right? yeah. But what is happening is it's very fast. So for that we can say transitions. Five S or okay. If we are giving over here the sorry sorry. We have to specify width there also. Even it's one pixel, okay? Okay. See. Hmm. So it's coming in five seconds, right? Okay. But for only five seconds, it will. Yeah. Hmm. Within five uh, point five seconds, okay. not five seconds. Okay. Within point five second, it will work. Okay. Now see. Okay. But what is happening in? After this layer is coming, that button is become is right. going back. Okay. For that, what we can use is Z index. Okay. Z index. 
you know about index yeah. and that is minus one minus one. one minus one okay so whatever the position right now will go minus one so see this okay okay so y you can see here mm. while it hovering on it mm. the button is uh, is on the uh, before element okay but while leaving it going back okay yeah. see mm. why because of this so we yeah, have yes. to give it to the main main element okay not on the over giving here saving and now they see it is there mm. okay so that's it for now okay. in next video we will give some more uh, animation and style okay on to this button so guys you also subscribe our channel and stay tuned to have uh, some more fun like this thank you thank you rahul